any comfortable meditative posture that gives you a strong foundation, a firm foundation for your spine to be comfortably erect. Allow your upper arms to hang loose by the sides of your body. Bend your elbows comfortably. Place the back of your hands on your thighs. Close your eyes. Three deep breaths. Being aware of the flowing experience <clears throat> as it is happening right now. Breath coming and going. Sounds around you. Sensation of touch. Where the parts of your body meeting the mat. All in one unified experience, a flowing experience. Never static. And becoming aware of the flowing experience right now. Not as it was earlier. Not as yet it might be, but right now. Hearing my voice. Watching the breath. We talk about coming home. It is more like we are always home right here and now. Except we forget. We get distracted. So let's recognize that we are home right here and now. There should be no strain as you are becoming aware of the current experience. No strain. A relaxed awareness. Nothing to do. Nothing to accomplish. Nothing to hold on to. Nothing to run away from. As you continue with this practice, you might feel a relaxation. Not just physical. All the tensions of the day. Let it be. And uh, all of these are uh, like clouds in the space of awareness.
Palms to the Heart Center. Namaskar Mudra. May this practice be for the benefit of all beings. Tilt your head forward, chin to the chest. Open your eyes. Inhaling, arms by the side, palms going up, looking up. Exhaling, palms coming down to the chest, looking down. Inhaling up. Exhaling down. Inhaling up. Exhaling down. Inhaling up. Exhaling down. Inhaling up, stretching the throat just a bit more. Exhaling down, stretching the back of your neck. One last round, inhaling up. Exhaling down. Release. Come up to standing. Separate your feet comfortably apart. Broad stance. Manjit, you might want to go face the other way so you can have a broad stance. They're going to do a warm up. Yes. Um, look down at your feet. Allow your big toes to slightly point toward each other. Slightly. Hands on your waist. Inhaling. Next exhalation, move your hip to the toward the right wall and bend toward the left wall. And look over your right shoulder. Look over your right shoulder. Uh, Vinay, look over your right shoulder. Yes. Yes. Inhaling center. Next exhalation, move your hips toward the left wall, bend toward the right wall, look over the left shoulder. Inhaling center. Four more rounds. Feel the posture in your inner thighs, perhaps, as well. We store a lot of stress on the shoulders and lower back. After completing, take a deep breath, exhale. Now let's do a, a back bend and a forward bend. Inhaling, move your hips forward, chest forward. Take your arms out and to the back. Look up at the ceiling as you inhale. Exhaling, bending forward from the hips, hugging yourself tightly, chin to the chest, head down. Head down. Completely relax the head. Your shoulder blades are away from each other. Four more rounds. Inhaling. Move your hips forward, chest forward, look up, take the arms back, shoulder blades on the back going toward each other. Exhaling, bending forward, shoulder blades going away from each other, chin to the chest. You can bend the knees, not a problem. When you're bending forward, feel free to bend the knees. Total five rounds. Srini, as you bend forward, bend the knees more. 
so you can bend further forward. Yes, good. After completing five rounds, hands on the waist. Take a deep breath, exhale. Arms up to the sides, parallel to the ground, palms facing the front. Inhaling center, exhaling, bending toward the right wall. Allow the right arm to hang behind the right leg. Allow the right ear to fall down to the right shoulder, left arm up and over. Inhaling center. Exhaling, bending toward the left wall, left arm hanging behind the left leg, left ear falling down to the left shoulder, stretching the right side of the neck, right arm reaching for the left wall. Inhaling center. Four more rounds. After completing five rounds, hands on the waist. Take a deep breath, exhale. Arms up, parallel to the ground, palms facing the front. Parallel to the ground. Arms, par arms parallel to the ground, yes. Inhaling center, exhaling, twisting your upper body to the right as much as you can. Look over your right shoulder as much as you can. Inhaling center. Exhaling, twisting to the left. Look over the left shoulder as much as you can. Inhaling center. Four more rounds. After completing, <clears throat> hands on the waist. Take a deep breath, exhale. Arms up, interlacing fingers, palms facing up. Inhaling, back bend. Exhaling, halfway bending forward. Bring the upper body and arms parallel to the ground. Look at the back of your hands. Four more rounds. You can bend your knees as you bend forward, not a problem. As much as possible, keep the arms and spine in alignment. And see if you can bring your upper body and arms parallel to the ground as you bend forward. After completing, release your arms, hands on your waist. Take a deep breath. Arms up, interlacing fingers, palms facing up. Next exhalation, turn toward your right wall. 
Next inhalation back bend. Hold the posture five. Four. Three. Two. One. Inhaling, come up all the way to the center. Next exhalation, bending toward the left wall. Next inhalation, back bend. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhaling, come all the way to the center. Hands on your waist. Take a deep breath, exhale. Arms up, interlacing fingers, palms facing up. Bend your knees deeply. Look down at your knees. Knees are not going further than your big toes. And as much as possible, keep your arms and spine in alignment. Five deep breaths, five. Four. Three. Two. One, inhaling, come up. Exhaling, release the arms, bring your feet comfortably closer, stand relaxed. What we have done is to engage and activate the big muscles in the body and also Take the spine through its range of motions. Today we are going to practice few twisting postures. The practice that we did in the last session, the side bend, they are good preparation for twisting postures. And so we will do few lateral bends and then proceed to few twisting postures. Front of the mat, Tadasana. Namaskara Mudra. Three rounds of Surya Namaskara begin. If the mind wanders away to the past or the future, recognize what is happening right now. Begin again.
After completing three rounds, stand relaxed. Standing relaxed and continuing the practice. The main practice of staying with the current experience, the flow of current experience. Whatever that may be. Physically, energetically, emotionally, mentally, Three deep breaths. Let's practice Trikonasana, front of the mat. Namaskar Mantra. Inhaling back. Exhaling forward. Inhaling left foot back, long step back. Place the back foot flat on the mat, hands on the waist. Inhaling, come up, face the left wall. Look down at your feet in line stance. Now, throughout the Trikonasana practice, we are going to keep the Front knee, this time it is the right knee, straight. Stretch your right arm toward where the right toes are pointing to. Lean toward that wall. And look at your left shoulder. Make sure that the left shoulder not falling forward. Keep the right knee straight, bend toward the right leg. Allow the right arm to hang behind the right leg hang loose it's it can hang loose left arm up toward the ceiling left fingers reaching for the ceiling right fingers reaching for the ground they don't have to reach the ground they are just trying to reach the ground is fine turn and gaze at your left thumb five Two, one, slightly bend the right knee, hands on the waist, inhaling, come up. Take a deep breath, exhale. Rotate your right foot in and left foot out. In line stance, same in line stance. Keep the left knee straight throughout the practice as much as you can. If you have a knee problem, keeping the knee straight, then you can slightly relax it. Left arm stretching toward where the left toes are pointing to and lean toward that. And look over, look at the right shoulder and stop it from falling forward as you bend toward the left leg and allow the left arm to hang loose. Right arm up toward the ceiling, gazing at the right thumb. Right middle finger reaching for the ceiling, left middle finger reaching for the ground. Trikonasana practice, five deep breaths, five, four, three, two, one, slightly bend the left knee, hands on the waist, inhaling, come up. Take a deep breath. Rotate your left foot in, right foot to the front. Ashwasanchalana. 
right foot back plank adho mukashwanasana allow the head to hang loose you can bend the knees not a problem you can be on the toes not a problem allow the chest to move toward the knees without moving the palms by the way all the fingers are on the mat five deep breaths five four three two one gently place your knees down vajrasana Five deep breaths, five, four, three, two, one. Cat posture. Adho Mukha Shwanasana. Um, <clears throat> next inhalation oh before you do that separate your feet um, hip width apart inhaling left foot forward place the left foot closer to the left palm place the back foot on the mat Hands on the waist, inhaling, straighten up, look to the front where the left toes are pointing to. Offline stance. The, if a line, if you're drawing a line through your front foot and the back foot, they are hip width apart. This should allow you to keep the hip, both hip joints to face front, shoulders facing front, soft gaze directly ahead. Parivirtha Rikonasana practice. At least let's uh, approach it. Keep the left knee straight as much as you can. Inhale center. Exhaling, bending from the hips forward. Halfway. Now you might feel intense stretch on the back of your left leg. If you're, especially if you're keeping your knee straight. Grab your left shin with the right hand. Right hand grabbing the left shin from the top, from the top. Yes. Now rotate your left shoulder up as much as you can. Left arm up. Parivitta Trikonasana. Five. Gazing at your left thumb. Four. Three. Two. One. Left hand on the left waist. Right hand on the right waist. Inhaling. Come up. Ashwasanchalana. Left foot back, plank. Adho Mukashwanasana. Separate your feet, hip width apart. Inhaling, right foot forward, place the right foot closer to the right palm. Place the back foot flat on the mat, hands on the waist. Inhaling, come up, face toward where the right toes are pointing to. Your hip, hips are aligned, shoulders are aligned, facing front. Um, Vinay, are you off blind stance? Your left hip is still left back. Bring the left hip 
to twist your left. Yes, much better. Thank you. Now we're going to keep the right knee straight as much as we can. Inhale, exhaling, bending halfway down front. With the left, place the left palm on top of the right shin. Open the right shoulder up toward the ceiling. And right arm up toward the ceiling. Gazing at your right thumb. Five deep breaths, five. Four. Three. Two. One. Right hand on the right waist. Left hand on the left face, inhaling, come on. Ashva Sanchalana. Right foot back, plank. Palakasana. Adho Mukashwanasana, downward facing dog. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Keep, bring your feet close together and gently move your hips toward your right wall. Move your hips toward your right wall. Keep the keep the feet exactly as they are, just the hips. And when you do that, you will feel the stretch on the right side of your body. Your entire right arm and right side of the body, you will feel a stretch. And next exhalation, move your hips toward your right wall. And you feel the stretch, the entire um, arm, left arm and side of the left body, even the front, left front, you might feel a stretch and come to center. Place your knees down, Vajrasana. Five deep breaths. Five. Three, two, take a deep breath, exhale. Cat posture. Let's proceed to Parivirta Padatan. Parivirta Prasarita Padatam. Adomaka. Inhaling, right foot forward. Place the back foot flat on the mat. Hands on the waist. Inhaling, come up. Face the left wall. Look down at your feet in line stance. And then rotate the right toes also, right foot also. So both your feet are facing toward what was your left wall. This is a broad prasarita stance. Prasarita padatana is to bend forward. We will do that first. And then the next approach we will do parivirtha. Twisted, Pasarita, broad stance, Padatana, bending forward. Take a deep breath. Let's start with a gentle back bend. Gentle back bend, inhaling, move the hips forward, chest forward, allow the elbows to point toward the back wall and down. Five deep breaths, five. Four, three, two, 
one inhaling straight knee. Next exhalation, bend your knees and bend from the hips forward. The roof of your head is reaching the ground. The roof of your head is trying to reach the ground. We can bend your knees. Now those who can grab hold of the big toes, right hand grabbing the right big toe, left hand grabbing the left big toe. And if you're not able to, simply place your palms on your knees or shins or ankles, that's fine. But head down, head completely down. Now focus on getting your abdomen closer to the thighs. You can bend the knees, but focus on abdomen getting closer to the thighs, head down. Now, those who are comfortable keeping the abdomen close to the thighs can straighten up the knees as much, but keep the abdomens closer to the thighs. Head down, surrender. Prasarita Padatthana variation. Five deep breaths, five. One, hands on the waist, inhaling, come up. Take a deep breath, exhale. Two more deep breaths. Now we are going to approach uh, a twist. Inhale. Exhaling, bending from the hips forward halfway. You can bend the knees. Bend forward halfway, you can bend the knees. Now with the right hand, place your right hand on the left knee. Left knee. Open the left shoulder up as much as you can. Left arm up toward the ceiling. Now move your back or seat bones just a bit back to bring balance on your feet so you can also go deeper in the posture. Five deep breaths, five, four, three, two, one. Hands on your waist. Inhaling, come up. Three deep breaths. Now let's approach the other side. Inhale, exhaling, slightly bend the knees, bending forward from the hips halfway. Place the left palm on the right knee. Open the right shoulder up as much as you can. Allow the left shoulder to fall downward and right arm up. Gazing at the right thumb and if you can, five deep breaths, five, four, three, two, one. Hands on the waist. Inhaling, come up. Release the arms and bring your feet comfortably closer. Stand relaxed. Sukhasana. Palms facing up. Spine comfortably straight. Head on top of the spine, eyes softly closed. In an open attitude, physically and mentally. Open to receive whatever the experience that is flowing through.
gently open your eyes. Take a deep breath, exhale. Right foot on top, Ardha Padmasana, as much as you can. Those who are comfortable, take the right heel close to the abdomen. <coughs> Now, take your right arm behind you. Those who are comfortable can grab hold of the right big toe from behind, if you can. If you're not able to, don't, no aggression, remember, no aggression at all. But simply keep the right arm close to the body, left hand on the right knee. Inhaling, straighten up the spine and exhaling, twist toward the right. Getting your right shoulder toward the back wall, left shoulder toward the front wall. Use your left hand on the right knee to bring the left shoulder toward the right wall. Sorry, left wall. Five, look over your right shoulder, five. Four, three, two, one. Inhaling, release the posture. Relax your legs and Sukhasana. Shake your legs if you need to. And then go back to Sukhasana. Left foot on top, Ardha Padmasana, left heel close to the abdomen as best as you can. Right, uh, left arm behind you, those who are comfortable, grab hold of the left big toe with the left hand, right hand on the left knee, straighten up the spine, inhale. Exhaling, left shoulder going toward the back, <clears throat> right shoulder coming toward the front. Use your right hand on the knee to bring the right shoulder forward as much as you can. Look over the left shoulder. Five deep breaths, five. Four. Three. Two. One, inhaling center, release, release the legs, shake your legs. Sukhasana. Come to Vajrasana. Now, Vajrasana is where your big toes are touching each other, knees are closer, heels are separated. Now, gently move your seat bones and sit toward the right side of your ankle. Move and sit down on toward the right side of your ankles, yes. Now, even here, you might feel start feeling the stretch. <clears throat> right hand on the left knee. Left arm behind you. Twist toward your left side. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Come back to center. Release the posture and go back to Vajrasana. Bharadvajasana. We just approached a variation of Bharadvajasana. Now sitting toward the left side. And the left hand on the right knee. Right arm behind you. Twisting toward your right side. Five deep breaths, five, four, 
three, two, one. In the early center, Vajrasana, five deep breaths, five. Lie down on your back. Hug your knees, rock back and forth. Side to side. Settle back down, release the legs. Bend your knees, feet on the mat. Spread your arms shoulder height. Take your right leg over the left knee and hook your right foot underneath the left calf muscle if you can. Your right foot under the left calf muscles. Um, Srini, you can move your left Put forward to allow some room, yes, and see if you are not able to hook, that's fine, but at least you can keep. And next, exhalation, bending toward your, take your knees toward the left side of the mat. Look over your right shoulder. Five. Two, one. Bring the knees to the center and keep the knees exactly as they are. And take the knees toward your right side and look over your left shoulder. Take the knees to the right and look over your left shoulder. Five, four. Two, one, bring the knees to the center. Uncross your right leg. Take a deep breath. Now take your left leg over the right knee and hook your left foot underneath the right calf if you can, or simply cross your knees as much as you can. Inhale, exhaling, take your knees toward your right side, look over the left shoulder. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring the knees to the center. Keep the knees crossed exactly as they are and take the knees toward your left side and look over your right shoulder. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring your knees to the center and release the legs. Proceed to surrender in Shavasana. Make any final movements. So for the next few minutes without needing to move at all. Surrender. Mm. 
completely relaxed and fully aware of the flow of experience right now. Imagine the experience to be a river, a gently flowing river, and you are on the steps of the river on the side, and you're fixing your gaze, relaxed gaze, and you're seeing the clear water flow. Like that. Observe the flow of experience. Irrespective of the color of the water. Irrespective of the tone of the feeling. Pleasant, unpleasant. Neutral. Relax. Relax. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Take your time coming out of Shavasana and sitting in a meditative posture. Taking your hands back, inhaling, growing taller, exhaling, bending from the hips forward, thanking Mother Earth. Inhaling, come up. Rubbing your palms. Massaging your eyes. Gently blinking your eyes open. Stay. <laughs> 